choose myself underpaid and overwhelmed I might cut clean but still won't fall Hey loves, in today's video I will be doing a detailed skincare video. This was my skin last year. I have came a long way, but with that I have been using some great products and changing my lifestyle habits, eating better, and I'm triggered by sugar. And that's what the last video was about and that causes most of my breakouts. I'm aware of that now. And so I just wanted to share with you some products that I use. And what is working mainly active ingredients and I didn't want you to wait till the end to see the products so if you want to stop here and screenshot the products that I'm using that works there are active ingredients that really work and um, yeah go ahead and do that but I would love for you to stay to the end and like comment and subscribe and let's get into this video I will also be giving a breakdown on the benefits of each product later on in the video so stay tuned to the end here I have one or two breakouts I have been eating some Dagen Hodge chocolate covered ice cream bars and like I said everything dairy sugar candy anything I eat will immediately come out in my skin and so I woke up this morning and I was like, okay, I'm going to get all of this congestion out of my skin. So here, this is my chin area and I normally start here because a lot of dead skin and if you ever like stretch your skin, you'll see like a lot of white sebum in your pores underneath your mouth um, and I like to get all of that out monthly. Like I don't wait long to do this because this is like a reoccurring buildup and so I'm just using my Comedone's extractor tool to get all this sebum out of my pores and so my skin will look refreshed and new this is um, a way of exfoliating as well and yeah lots of buildup left behind you can see here my pores look clear and clean and I'm just going to continue and I recommend booking with an esthetician. I am a licensed esthetician to have these procedures done. If you are uncomfortable with this, I'd rather you use a tool than pick with your fingers because it's just better on the skin. So here's another stubborn breakout that has been lingering on my skin. And it's just due to me eating badly. And I finished up my instructions and I went in and removed hair not only from my face but from my top lip. They call it a mustache, but I just call it peach fuzz. And that just helps my skin look rejuvenated. It's like I said, it's another form of exfoliating. This is the hair that came from just my top lip. Like what? Um, but yeah, that's what happens. And um, it's only because I was trying to shoot this video. Normally it's not that much, but I do this maybe once a month. Another part of the face that's really congested is your nose. Um, whether it's inside or out, mucus, it like it lives here, sebum, it, everything lives in your nose. So what I like to do is I'll just push my nose upward and I'll, it will help release all that extra buildup in my skin you're disgusted at this point I am too I am actually disgusted with my own so if you saw the faces I had to delete out of here why does the face hold so much crap there's a lot of crap that comes out the face there's holes in our body the face nose holes hold so much nonsense nostrils the nose our pores on our skin I would like to ask our creator why. Okay, so now that I've gotten all of that gunk out of my face, I am going in with the La Roche-Posay and I'm going to double and maybe even triple cleanse because it's necessary. My pores are open. It will um, accept the product more better. I don't have a steamer going, but it's fine. It's early. I'm just going to go in, as you saw there, with some baking soda just to get some of that bacteria off my face. Um, I only, like I said, certain products you see me doing and using, I do this only once a month. Please do not do this every day. Do not use baking soda every day. Do not um, dermaplane every day. Do not do extractions every day. There's just a lot you can't do every day. This is like made for professionals 
and people that are really, really comfortable with their own skincare. So I don't recommend doing this every day. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the Panoxyl. Leave it on for two minutes, you rinse, and I'm done with my triple cleanse. There is controversy around the Panoxyl and the benzoyl peroxide products. Um, there's cancer warnings coming out. We're not sure what's going on officially, so I don't know how long I'll be using Panoxyl, but right now it's considered a holy grail product, so stay tuned for more info on that. Okay, so now it's time to detox, okay? Because that whole process was me removing all of the nasties, and now it's time to just detox my pores, and this is a Indian clay mask, the Aztec mask, one of the best ones. This should last you a lifetime and so much product in this mask. So I'm just going to apply this all over, leave it on until it dries. It normally takes 10 minutes to dry down completely and then wash and remove with cold water. I also remove the Panoxyl with cold water. Using cold water is a benefit. We all know that cold products, cold water, cold items help tighten the skin and so after doing the mask or removing your panoxyl is just um recommended to use the cold water hot water at first to open your pores cold water to tighten your skin and then i'm going to put the eye patches on i got these from amazon i'll leave everything linked below if you're interested and these are amazing just gonna put these under my eyes while while i wait for the mask to dry now everything is dried down completely. We're going to remove it with cold water and this is my favorite part. I'm going to start seeing my skin come alive again, awake. As you can see here, it looks so much more radiant, tighter, and that is from the clay mask. But we're going to get into our daily skincare. Now this is what I do daily, which is hyaluronic acid. I do hyaluronic acid after cleansing. Again, like I said, this is a detailed skincare facial routine. And so the first part was the facial. This part is what I do daily. I'm going to go ahead and apply the hyaluronic acid all over. And this is just going to hydrate, rehydrate, and soothe. Um, yes, my skin needs soothing after the extractions. And it just, I'm obsessed with hyaluronic acid. If I can just use hyaluronic acid, I'll be happy. Hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, faded, and moisturizers, I'm good. I just love it. So it just helps my skin come back to life. But it is a process. We're going to let that dry down. When you do extractions, it's now healing time. And so we're going to go in with some vitamin C after using the hyaluronic acid. And the vitamin C is a holy grail product again. It's almost like liquid Botox to me. And this one is extremely efficient because it efficacy is very high. It's 15% vitamin C. All vitamin Cs are not created equal. This one is really good. It has stood the test of time. It's been over 10 years I've been using it. And you'll see results right away when you use it. So I'm going to apply that and it's going to help tighten, tone, and brighten my skin. And if it's a vitamin C, it's going to help with fine lines and wrinkles, like my fine lines, my smile lines, any imperfections, dark spots. And I also use it under my eyes for any sort of dark circles or bags. It definitely helps brighten up that area. The camera was so close to my face. And I love it because you can see every pore. Okay? I think we're family now because you can literally see every pore in my skin because how close the camera was to my face. But again, here you can see the results of the vitamin C. I don't know if it's some sort of magic. I don't know what kind of spells they put in it. But immediately I can tell that my pores look minimized, my fine lines. And now I'm going in with an eye serum that has collagen and peptides just to, you know, fill in any lines and wrinkles. I want to thank Kiehl's for sending over these amazing products. This is their Salicylic Acid Liquid Pimple Patch. It has 2% salicylic acid and the gel has, I think, 1.2% 
salicylic acid with niacinamide and licorice root and I'm just going to apply this to the affected areas that I had did the extractions on just so that we can treat those but I am so happy having these products sent to me so that I can try them so this acid is one of those also holy grail products I don't know what it is with me holy grail but there's just certain products we're going to always use so after all is said and done and I have put on tons of active ingredients if you want to see results you have to turn the packaging around and look at the active ingredients I'm going to add my renewal CeraVe moisturizer and again this summer Riley's sunscreen because of course with anything you definitely need to use a SPF but I recommend a mineral SPF because there is a difference and people do not talk about it the difference between a regular SPF and a mineral SPF a mineral SPF is going to block UVA and UVB rays which is UVA rays are aging rays and UVB is burning rays and you can see I'm happy here because I'm done and those UVB rays will burn and the A rays will age and so if you want to do preventative work on your skin it's best to use a mineral sunscreen so let's go over the products this is for cleansing best one out these are for treatment salicylic acid retinoid and benzoyl peroxide Pick one or all, depending on your circumstance. Faded serum and vitamin C, hyperpigmentation, 10 out of 10. And for soothing, we have the snow mucin, hyaluronic acid, Cytoplast by the Roche Posay and CeraV Renewing Lotion. And for eyes and lips, just keep it simple. And a round of applause for the skin. Look how the skin is glowing. You can't tell me it doesn't look different from the beginning of this video. I will put in a clip, but you can go back and watch. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.